I'm gonna demonstrate now for you the muscle length testing for the hip and thigh. The first one that we are going to do is the Kendall test, which is looking at your rectus femoris. And there's different ways that it's been demonstrated in books. Sometimes they make it look very similar to doing the Thomas test, which is an iliopsoas test. But the way that I want you guys to know it is you're gonna have your patients at the very edge of the table with their knees hanging off, they're going to lay down and then they're going to actively grab their unaffected side and pull their knee to their chest. And what you're going to look for is either their hip to come up off the table or for their knee to start extending. And if it extends just a teeny bit, that's one thing. But if they really start coming out and they're complaining of tightness in their like anterior thigh and in their hip flexor, that is going to be a positive test. The next test, go ahead and slide up ma'am, is the Thomas test and it's really similar but we're really looking at iliopsoas tightness because now the, the femur or the quad is going to be extended and shortened. So what you do again is you take the unaffected side and passively bring them up into full hip and knee flexion. And what you're looking for is the opposite side to start coming up into hip flexion if they have iliopsoas tightness or they might complain of pain when they do that and then you would switch sides to be able to compare. So of course, as always, we're always looking at comparisons bilateral. The last test is going to look at your tensor fascia lata and your IT band, it's called Ober's test. And what you do is you have them lie on their unaffected side. You're going to stabilize their iliac crest. So you wanna hold it so that way they're not rotating and also it's gonna help them feel more supported so that way they're not kind of freaking out when they're doing this. And what you're going to do is passively, they really, really, really have to be relaxed. Thank you for relaxing. They need to be relaxed and you're gonna bring their leg up into extension. Then you are going to bring, or sorry, abduction, then bring them back into extension and then slowly lower them down into adduction. Notice how her leg is going way across the table. She has zero tightness in her IT band or TFL but some people you let go and their leg stays like almost all the way up here. It's kind of crazy how high it is. The alternate way to do this test, and some people feel that this is actually a better way to do it, is that you, instead of keeping their legs straight, you actually flex their knee to do this test before you do the rest of it. So then again, you abduct, you extend, and then you let them come down and notice how, oh, it's a little bit tighter when we do this. And this is actually catching the IT band a lot more. So I really recommend that you do it with a flex knee instead of an extended knee, but you can certainly do both and then compare the outcomes. And as always, make sure that you're comparing bilateral.